So is my slide visible, Dr. Josna? Yeah, Dr. Sharma, it is visible. Thank you. So this is, uh, this topic will be basically focusing on commercialization of lab technologies. Because lab technologies, why we are uh, saying that when we work in an institute uh, like IGNO or any other um, university or IIT, NIT, normally these students, they work in the lab setup. Uh, very few students, uh, they work at their own uh, homes or workplace. Otherwise, even that also we can call as a lab kind of condition because there you have a situation where you have uh, devices or uh, the, uh, the environment like a, like a lab, research lab. So when you have developed something, some technology in that setup technology, Hello. in that uh, lab tech, uh, lab, research lab setup, then what to do that further? You want to commercialize it, you want to generate revenue or just want to take patent of it and then uh, forget it. And if you want to take patent, then also what will you do with that patent? Can you still generate some revenue? Can uh, uh, get advantage of this? Can can that patent uh, patented product or item be utilized by the uh, by the country, by the society? Uh, for the benefit of the people, that all is possible. So, how to do that? And in that case, if you are if you have uh, is, uh, thought of transferring that technology, then how to transfer that technology to an industry, to a company, or to an institute, or some individual also? That so, I will be talking about this all. Uh, so, the basic question is basically, what is technology commercialization? Uh, you all might be uh, knowing now by now that our honorable prime minister has been talking about uh, making uh, research findings from lab to land that is a very uh, popular slogan by now the same thing we are talking now today uh, basically this is the process of taking an idea or an innovative product to market and creating financial values with it why financial values? Because if you are not creating financial values, then that idea will remain with you only, will not be uh, uh, utilized by the people for the purpose of uh, a society or country. So that that is basically the, uh, we can say the technology commercialization. So this process of taking an idea to market and creating financial value with it is the technology to commercialization. Typically through licensing, how we do it, uh, we can license that innovation, uh, can develop a new product or service, or with the help of that, you can create a new business with the help of somebody. It does not necessarily refer to moving uh, specific uh, finished technology to market. This is, you should be very clear in this context that it doesn't mean that you have finalized something and uh, that is the final thing, then only are going to the market. It can involve some uh, that uh, technology transfer at the earlier stages also. If you have developed a prototype, even a proof of concept also, and if it is uh, uh, appealing and uh, convincing to the investors or uh, uh, some industry, that can also be commercialized and can be transferred to, uh, to someone else. So this is a possible. Um, sometimes technology commercialization uh, may be uh, like a, you have done something you have developed some very uh, good innovative um, intellectual property, uh, then that uh, intellectual property itself can be transferred instead of uh, um, like uh, you have developed some product and then instead of uh, transferring that complete product, what is the technology behind that, that if you are transferring, that is also possible. So this is a saying like uh, uh, that uh, we need not to transfer the, what is uh, uh, the, the full, uh, black box, but what is inside it that need to be transferred? What is the technology? What is the concept behind it? That also is possible. So this is a, we can say the technology commercialization, uh, the process of trans transitioning technology from research lab to the marketplace for the purpose of commercialization. This is very important. So here in this, you, you will find two basic concepts. That is a technology transfer and the purpose of commercialization. If you are transferring technology and it is not being used for the purpose of revenue generation or commercialization, then also it is not, uh, it may not be fulfilling its purpose. So this is basically the meaning of technology transfer. Then 
why it is required that is also important as i told you uh, you as an individual has developed some uh, innovative thing innovative product innovative uh, application software something like if it is lying with you or not being uh, uh, commercialized is not being converted into a proper business then i think it may not be uh, useful as it should be so that's why it is very important to uh, commercialize that technology and that can be done only when you transfer it uh, or you take it uh, at your own also as a business uh, setup so first thing is it develops a platform to share your ideas when you are transferring your technology your idea or innovation then other people also may start giving you feedback guidance and then uh, suggestions for improvement also that is all po possible gives opportunity to generate income from the technology because uh, if you have developed some very innovative uh, product uh, like uh, some innovative app you have developed social uh, uh, social app which you are using social media type of app and if you are not using it for the uh, for, for the people then you may not be generating resources so if you are commercializing it then it will certainly help you in getting um, some revenues also promotes economic development through commercializing innovation technology because when something you have developed like uh, we can say um, big technologies um, like uh, you know this um, uh, during the covid a number of technologies were developed and when they were um, commercialized when they were made available to the people they they help the people also and in in other way they help in uh, enhancing the economy of the country so that is also possible and when you are trying to commercialize your uh, product your um, idea then certainly you will like to first protect its intellectual property or would like to get it a patent so this is possible only when you are thinking to commercialize if you are not thinking then you may not be worried about you may not be more interested in getting its ipr or uh, patent uh, registered file so that all is possible in this case increases business to business transaction also when you are doing something like a, you you have planned to uh, commercialize your idea or your technology then what will happen someone who has taken your idea who has uh, we can say um, uh, bought your idea by paying or by uh, uh, we can say the mutual uh, kind of joint venture then in that case uh, this will increase business to business transaction also and that will help in uh, in getting revenues and also uh, helping the consumers or the users in a, in that context creates expand opportunities for the entrepreneurs and the development of support network when you have some something in your mind like a, 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 just now i was uh, listening to dr ravi shankar he had some 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 idea to develop in the field of, field of mental health and if you are having that idea you have developed some um, uh, technology or some innovative um, business model or business plan if you start developing on that uh, then certainly it will be creating a network of the users and others uh, maybe the uh, the people who may like to join you for the for providing service for getting service so that kind of opportunities are also possible and uh, this all is possible when you think that uh, technology should be commercialized improves the research and the prestige of the innovator and institute that is very important uh, when you have developed something you have a very good idea and if you are keeping it to up uh, yourself only then you may not be having that kind of uh, um, that uh, popularity or publicity in the market in the society nobody knows you when you commercialize it make it available to the people then only you will come to know uh, that people are knowing you recognizing you that the person and so has done this kind of innovation this kind of innovation has been developed so that is all possible and also when you go to the market when you go to the people uh, then you get some feedback and suggestions that help you in improving your product so in a way that research possibilities are also there and if you are not thinking to transfer it to other person to our other industry or company then you can certainly uh, set up your own startup or business that is also one way of commercializing so that is why 
you should think of uh, uh, commercializing your technology your idea or innovation uh, these all things basically give you an idea why this commercialization of a technology is required why i should go for commercializing it uh, when you have thought of commercializing uh, your idea or innovation then what are the different stages i would like to uh, basically um, uh, divide it into three parts these all steps have basically three uh, components or uh, that is a scientific law related and business related when you talk about the science related then you will find the innovation disclosure and evaluation these three steps in the process of technology transfer they require basically scientific bent of mind uh, innovation that can be done only when you have researched something you have developed some prototype and tested it tried it over the uh, over your user um, or the customers and then you can say they are, this is the product which you have developed so this is involving a scientific method in that context uh, and then very important thing is whatever you have developed the, it needs to be disclosed disclosed means to be shared so that uh, people can know that uh, this kind of item has been developed and then uh, no one else has developed if you have developed and already this kind of thing has been developed then people will raise question they can uh, uh, raise objections so this is also very important component of uh, the technology transfer process to disclose whatever you have done and for that disclosure uh, disclosure purpose basically uh, important thing is to go for the ipr or patent because when you go for that you will have to disclose what you have done uh, because that disclosure is under certain uh, uh, conditions people cannot use it um, cannot um, uh, misuse it that's why you need not to worry about that so this is a kind of a scientific step in this context uh, for the process of transfer and then comes the evaluation when you disclose it uh, the the persons experts or the other persons they evaluate they they come to know that what is that whether it is useful to the people to the users uh, meant for it as uh, it has been developed so that kind of uh, aspect will be there so these three component innovation disclosure and evaluation these i can say are the scientific uh, uh, component and then uh, then comes the protection protection of your innovation protection of your intellectual property and for that also there is a long procedure proper procedure you will have to follow and that will help you in getting it your own right over that property intellectual property so you'll have to go for protection then we can say this is a component related to the law then comes the next process next step in this process is the business related you'll have to market whatever you have done of when you have protected um, your idea your uh, your uh, product then you need to go for the market who are the taker of your technology who will be the people who want uh, to use it maybe you cannot directly go to the uh, the end customers but you will have to find out who can make mass production of your technology who can make your technology technology available to to the end users which you have thought of so for that purpose you will have to do a lot of uh, research marketing what are the companies what are the uh, business ventures or uh, or institutions who will be able to help you who will be able to, able to take over your technology when you are thinking to transfer and when you have decided a certain company or certain institute whom you want to uh, share your or transfer your uh, technology then it, there are certain procedures procedures for that purpose licensing what kind of uh, terms and conditions will be there what kind of what kind of uh, licenses would be required these all things uh, basically will be uh, part of that uh, procedure when you are thinking to transfer your technology and then based on that with the help of that company with whom you have um, tied up to transfer or decided to transfer with the uh, with that company you will have to develop the uh, the product 
because they will uh, they will develop as per your design as per our idea and you will have to tell them that this is exactly what you thought of in that case uh, there are again certain conditions for revenue sharing for uh, fee sharing for other kind of uh, things which you will have to decide and then comes the question of commercialization when the product is final when product has been finalized and then what kind of uh, um, design or the product you had thought it has been developed by the by the company or by the institute or industry then comes the question of uh, commercialization so this is basically the the process of technology transfer we start from the innovation and then that innovation we disclose uh, as per the procedures of the uh, patent office and then uh, uh, in that process itself the evaluation takes place by the by the users by the company by the uh, by the patent office uh, experts and then uh, they the 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 protection takes place then you will get some right for that yes it is my product on what conditions i am uh, um, sharing with the uh, with the other industry or company or uh, individual so those all things are protected there and then comes the question of marketing whatever technology you have transferred you have decided to transfer that has to be marketed uh, um, for, for, for among the use and users and then in this uh, in this uh, process itself this licensing or we can say uh, the spin off industry uh, that kind of things are required and then final is the product development and its commercialization so these are the steps for transferring the technology which you have developed uh, what kind of technologies can be uh, technology transfer could be there because uh, uh, sometimes you know uh, there are technologies which uh, which are uh, developed uh, by the by the inventor or by the innovator and they are licensed to other companies that is basically whatever you have developed something and you are licensing to other companies this was your idea you thought of this and the the, the company or the industry which they want they are also interested in so this kind of uh, technology transfer is basically technology push transfer we can say you developed and then it is being transferred to them so there is nothing uh, normally this kind of things uh, takes place it is a uh, common with the uh, universities like uh, when you work in a lab in your research lab in a university or in even even individual case uh, you are developing something some idea came to your mind you decided to develop and then you thought where i should uh, transfer it to so some company, some interested uh, industry, they uh, they came to you or you went to them and then uh, certain kind of licenses were done. So you transfer that to them. So this is a technology push transfer kind of thing. Normally, this kind of uh, uh, transfer technology transfer takes place when uh, uh, when technologies are developed in the universities, institutions or in certain lab situations. Another thing is uh, uh, basically this is a market pool market pool kind of a technology transfer is when uh, when market demand is there uh, certain kind of uh, product is required certain certain kind of services are required in the market and you you sense those you recognize those uh, demand and accordingly you or your industry or your institute or your lab they decide to work upon that yes this is the requirement of the people this is the requirement of uh, of the market then accordingly new technologies are developed and then those technologies uh, are transferred to the to the industries because uh, in their case uh, there is a scope of uh, more revenue generation there is a scope of uh, more business uh, generation this kind of things uh, they, they basically take place in a uh, startups because whenever you are thinking of uh, setting up a startup then you think of the people's need you think of uh, the market demand whenever you are thinking market demand people people think you have certain business model in your mind so this kind of technology transfer takes place uh, when you have uh, when you have to, to set in mind to set up a startup or business so this is a market pool kind of a technology transfer and uh, sometimes you might have seen that you are doing something and then some new 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 product is developed while uh, developing uh, a, a a product some new idea is uh, is uh, is generated that idea gives a solution to another problems so this kind of technological spillover also takes place 
but these are these are very um, uh, not not very very free, frequent so when this kind of technological spillover takes place they certainly give rise to um, certain uh, new advancements um, in in one area and that can be used in another area and this kind of interdisciplinary uh, utility of uh, technological spillovers that also takes place so that gives a, uh, that is a sometimes very useful to the people uh, these unintentional technology uh, technological benefits they basically come in this technology spillover and uh, when you think of uh, transferring technology then there are certain challenges also because if you have developed some uh, some idea some innovation or some technology then normally you think this is mine but when you are transferring it so transferring it means you may not be uh, interested in uh, transferring everything whatever you have in mind uh, if you have transferred it uh, then sometimes uh, whatever is spirit you had in mind that is killed you may not be more interested further more interested in working on that because when you have transferred that technology it has been taken over by some other industry they may be working at their own what if they are getting some problems uh, they may be facing at their own unless uh, some terms and conditions are there in the license otherwise uh, normally your interest that dies in that case so this is a great challenge if you have developed something with great enthusiasm with great passion but if you transfer it because of uh, uh, many reasons maybe to earn some money maybe to you are not able to further work upon that so in that case this kind of problem is there and also there is a very uh, great problem like uh, uh, when you transfer this technology upgradation is not possible when you transfer it to someone else they may not be as uh, expert as you were there uh, they may not be knowing what you had in mind so that kind of upgradation may not be uh, there so this is uh, another challenge uh, many a times uh, because uh, when you are transferring technology you transfer on certain terms and conditions and some of the terms and conditions they involve the revenue they involve the uh, the the uh, payment sharing also and many a time this kind of dispute takes place because uh, either that company is earning more money and not paying less uh, not paying sufficient amount to you then dispute arises and in, in that case the technology whatever you had my uh, in your mind you had developed you may not be helping them further so uh, that is a kind of uh, challenge another is uh, like a after sale service this is also great challenge when uh, whenever technology has transferred um, you may be knowing about uh, like a technology transfer of um, certain big things rafale or some defense related nuclear related uh, uh, items from other countries to one country to another country they do not uh, support this kind of after sale services or backup of technology um, they they will have to depend on them only for everything will have to depend on them if uh, they are not providing that kind of support then the the items or uh, whatever um products you have purchased they may be useless also uh, another very uh, serious challenge is uh, like ipr issues because uh, you had you developed some technology and that technology was patented in your name then it is fine uh, you may be uh, uh, taking um, uh, that revenue sharing based on that if it is not done in your mind, in your in your name then other other person whom you have sold it you have transferred it um uh, this uh, intellectual property they may uh, they may be facing this ipr issues or sometimes trademark issues are also there because uh, many companies you might have seen they are purchased by uh, some other person and then there there is a uh, dispute in the name of trademark uh, because uh, that company want to retain its trademark and the new purchaser they don't want to go with their trademark so that kind of ipr issues are also there Uh, another challenge is uh, like uh, that i have told you in case of uh, um, defense and a nuclear uh, technology transfer are uh, tra done on, on the country to country basis in that case uh, the serious issues are basically the financial burdens because if you are not transferring or uh, that uh, technology is not being transferred then financial burden of maintaining that 
that is always there so this kind of uh, um, uh, that uh, uh, aspects are to be considered very seriously whenever you are taking technology from other person or you are transferring your idea or technology to some other person so this financial issues need to be uh, addressed very seriously very minutely so that in uh, in long run they, they 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 not create that kind of problem and also uh, because uh, when we talk about uh, technology transfer at uh, country to country level in that case uh, it becomes uh, vulnerable to the country future of the country also because security issues are there uh, if you have developed some technology with uh, which is having some uh, very security issues then it becomes very important to consider those all things very minutely because uh, to whom you are transferring technology they they should be very clear about that what uh, what are the security issues what are the other aspects uh, which they should not consider or you should consider these all are very important in particular in case of defense and nuclear sector so these are the issues which i thought i should uh, share with you um, uh, regarding this technology transfer and uh, example of uh, one example i would like to share with you uh, you might have uh, heard about this uh, history of google google history if you go in 1996 two students of stanford university they had developed uh, Uh, a search engine, internet search engine, that was the page rank. It was 1996, and then after that, that technology was transferred by the Stanford University to uh, to a company, and that uh, is now um, very well known. That is a uh, Google, and this you know is the uh, world's largest and most profitable technical company, and uh, this kind of technology transfer takes place. There are there is a very big history and there are certain issues related to this also when in 1996 it was transferred uh, everything was not transferred to to the company uh, who is now owning this google but thereafter certain disputes also took place and uh, but ultimately it was uh, uh, resolved but at the same time these uh, these two students of stanford university they had developed another internet uh, search engine but that could not be um, Could not be popularized or could not be made uh, as um, useful as the Google is. So this kind of technology transfer takes place. You know, um, uh, many of uh, students working in the uh, universities and institutions in their lab, they develop certain uh, products, uh, innovative products as part of their research work. And when they develop that product as a part of research work, they want to. Um, basically normally i have seen that they want to transfer it to the industry for its a mass utilization for so that it could be uh, used in the interest of the country or the society well, any product they have developed that need to be uh, transferred there are certain norms certain procedures that i have shared with you but if you are yourself interested in doing some uh, in a uh, converting that technology